in about two and a half hours. It took a lot longer to dry than what I had expected. And I hope it's dry. It better be dry. So, and I don't, oh my goodness, it's, I don't even, it's a little damp, but guess what? I'm gonna go through with it because I'm tired. I'm gonna get this out the way. So, um, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. All right, um, my flat iron is on. It is at a 450 degree temperature. Um, you know, people are probably going to ask me, you know, they're, they ask me, they'll ask them about the 450 degree temperature. No, I'm not going to use a heat protectant. I've never used a heat protectant. People were concerned about my hair being straight in some areas and curly in the others. Um, you know, they mentioned that I may have heat damage. Your hair looks heat damaged. I really don't care about heat damage because I haven't heard the, t I have never heard of heat damage prior to coming to YouTube. Now, this is not a testimony against heat protectants. If they work for you, by all means, use them. I don't use them. I don't like the way they feel in my hair. It weighs my hair down. And really, what's going to really protect your hair at a 450 degree temperature anyway? You know? I mean, it's heat. So, I very well may have heat damage. You know, but if I do, eventually, it'll get cut out. I mean, as you see, I, I cut anywhere between half an inch to an inch per month off my hair. Or like, every six weeks, I cut off like an inch. So, eventually, the hair grows out. It'll get cut out. I'm not, I don't obsess over my hair. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I've seen some YouTubers on YouTube like, oh, God, my hair has to grow, has to grow. You know, we all want our hair to grow, but don't obsess over it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obsessing over the potential of your, of your hair growth is like watching paint grow. I mean, <laughs> watching paint dry. You know what I'm saying? You constantly sit there and watch the paint. It feels like it's going to take forever to dry. Same thing with your hair. Ignore it, let it go, let it do its, do, do its thing. As long as you keep your hair conditioned and moisturized and keep the ends trimmed, it will grow. As long as you're not doing anything really crazy. But yes, so <laughs> I'm sticking to my routine because somebody made a comment on my page and they said, if it's not broke, don't fix it. You know, and apparently as long as I get the results that I want for my hair, I'm happy. So I'm going to proceed with straightening my hair and take a section. Like I said, it's still a little, not a lot, but it's still a little damp, but I want to get this out of the way because I want to go to bed. And um, during my roller set, the last time I didn't use um, I'm going to flat iron it in the opposite direction. That way I get the roots. The last time I didn't use a, um, I did not use a setting lotion. This time I did. And sometimes setting lotions sometimes weigh my hair down. So sometimes I don't even use setting lotions. A lot of people ask me, what's the trick to getting your hair so bouncy and so you know, with so much body, and it's primarily because I don't put anything in my hair. It's the flat ironed look. Um, it, um, that's like the body I wanted, I guess. I won't know till morning, because my hair never really comes out the way that I want it until I wrap it, so. Um, Here's the back. Let's see. Let's see. So it's finally quite evenly. And I am going to do a length check. Um, I will be checking the length again in February. So just to, you know, I never did a length check, but I see a lot of these YouTube um, videos where people doing length checks and they actually see the results. Um, so I'm interested to know what my growth potential is. So that's primarily the only reason why I'm doing it. But so far, it seems to come to... About 
nine and a half inches. I would say about nine and a half inches. And then I'm going to put a um, measuring tape on this side and measure this side at some point before um, around the first. So let me wrap this head up and um, do the reveal in the morning. So it's pretty much the same routine, but it's not going to wrap as easily because last time I had a roller set. So it kind of made it easier for me to wrap it around because the, the rollers molded the hair going into a certain direction. This time, oh, by the way, I love the, I really did like the idea of stretching the hair before I flat ironed it. I will do that every single time I try to do a bone straight look because it made my hair a lot easier to flat iron it. So that was a good idea. I'm going to, going to adopt that. <laughs> so let's wrap it around. I did put a little bit of a 